The shutter speed is about the duration of the lens opening, but in dental photography, the shutter speed is not so important with regards to exposure. You can basically choose any value between, let's say, 1 per 50 to 1 per 250 of a second, and the exposure will be the same. If you don't believe me, watch this video. Shutter speed 200, or actually 1 per 200, F25, ISO 200, flashes on maximum power, this position of the saw boxes and the distance that we have talked about. So proper exposure with these values. Now let's make the shutter speed slower. Let's go shutter 100. Nothing else has changed, yeah? So obviously we expect that uh, having a slower shutter speed, you will obtain more exposure. The photo will be overexposed. And the photo is the same. Yeah, if I compare with the previous photo, shutter speed 200, 100, same exposure. See, the graphic didn't move. Okay, let's go even lower. Let's do shutter speed 50, so 1 per 50th of a second. The exposure is the same. This is 50, 100, 200. Okay, let's go even lower with this value. Let's say shutter speed, let's go all the way down to wherever, 1 per 10th of a second. So this will be really slow. And it's only now that the photo is slightly overexposed compared to the other ones. So eventually only from this value, 1 per 10, the sensor is also capable of capturing some of the ambiental light. So why is this happening? In this narrow opening of the lens, let's say between f22 to f29, the most common values that we use in dental photography, the light from the room has zero influence on the exposure. So basically, if I turn the flashes off, the photo is totally dark. So when you take a photo using f25, for example, with a shutter speed of 1 per 160th of a second, but with a flash, the only time anything will be recorded on the sensor is during the super short burn time of the flash. The rest of that 1 per 1 60th of a second, nothing is captured. However, there is a limit to what we can use in terms of shutter speed. For example, if you're using a shutter speed of, let's say, less than 1 per 10 of a second, you will see blurry photos because the sensor will have time to catch the movement of your hand. On the other extreme, if you are using shutter speed faster than 1 per 250, let's say 1 per 320, yes, exposure will still be the same. However, your photo will be blocked by the shutter itself. For example, I just shot a photo like that and see, basically the exposure is the same. If I click on the exposure, the exposure is in the middle. However, the photo will be partially blocked by the shutter itself. So in conclusion, just choose a value between, let's say, 100, 160 or 200, it really doesn't matter. There is no need to ever tweak the shutter speed to influence the exposure. You can simply rely on other values such as aperture and ISO.